It's that time of the year. Happy holidays, everyone, from 2K Sports as we get set to bring you some midseason NBA action. Tonight, we'll see the San Antonio Spurs as they play against the Utah Jams. I'm Kevin Harlan, Clark Kellogg, and Mike Fratello are with me at the table. And on the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. Well, Mike, this one should be interesting. Always a special night when we get to see two rivals go head-to-head. -head. Especially when it's within the same conference. These teams know each other so well. Going to the second and third option might be necessary tonight because they know what's coming on that first option. But can we keep the execution going, getting to the second and third options to get better shots? Love it. We're looking for that. He doesn't pass up any opportunities to throw it down. Oh, no. And once you give him space to take off, he goes for it. Slamming it down with one hand, too. Love the ferocity. Six to shoot. And that one's good, Gervin. Smooth shot by Gervin. Even if you keep him on the outside, he can attack you successfully. Bottom minute played so far here in the first. Basket good. You know, they'll be looking for more of that. An easy layup right there. Always nice to get a few easy ones early in the game to build a rhythm. Pass to Roberts. Moore left side. 18 feet out, and it's good. Two points. Here's Eves. 12 points his last outing. The pass to Drew. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. And Utah again with the bucket. John Drew always hunting his shot, looking to get it to the rim. And more it's to Gerber. Puts it up from 12. No good on the shot. He'd like that one back. That's normally a shot he makes. Bantley the pass to Drew. Here's Griffith. Some stats for him. He averages over 21 points a game. First foul. August First personal foul. First team foul. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Down it goes. Nice one there from Bantley. How about the focus from Dantley? He's really locked in as a scorer. It's Kervin on the wing. Takes it out to Banks. Shot clock at six. Kervin in the post. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. This is how skilled Gervin is. Able to fight off contact on the way up. Takes it inside. Griffith passes to Dantley. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Probing the paint early, testing those waters inside. I like it. We'll see how long before their defense tightens up down there. Good start for them on offense. Now, here's Gervin. And it's in there. Not a quick release guy. Gervin does his best impression there. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Excellent lines of communication there. How about that, Clark? The pass, the catch, totally in rhythm. Beautiful. It's almost like they were in each other's heads. Well done. Big effort gets the big reward. Simply outplaying the defense. Here's Eves. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Misses had a chance to tie it there. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. Pass to Eaton. It's blocked. Respect the reach of Gilmore because it's extensive. It makes blocking shots look really easy. To the right side. High arcing 
shot, and it's Durbin laying it in. Durbin's got 10 points in the game. The teardrop, just a wonderful shot to have in your bag. That was the 2K drive, as that move deserved another look. Aggressive take there to get inside. Looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Drew passes to Eves. Here's Eaton. Pass to Drew. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Good looking jumper from Drew. The D has to respect him from there. Here's Gervin. Shot is good off the back rim and in. 12 points for him. He has been in some kind of groove here lately, really cooking on the offensive end. Yep, this is exactly what we saw from him in their last game. Lots of confidence. Here's Griffith. Great open look there. You can tell he scanned the whole floor and found the exact right guy to feed. San Antonio calls timeout. So San Antonio goes with a fresh five on the floor. San Antonio trailing here. Now, here's Tucker. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. And here is Brooks. Stolen. Inside. A shot by Dentley, no good. And the defense wasn't horrible, but still, he's got to come through there. There wasn't enough resistance to prevent him from scoring that one. The high post shot. Not going to go that time. And it's Utah the other way. Last time they met was in Utah. You know, last time their starting lineup had a tough time staying on the floor. It put way too much pressure on the reserves. And that's unfair to the bench to expect them to pick up all of the slack. They need to stay away from slapping and reaching. Griffith can't get it to go. And so Brooks will bring it up for San Antonio. Trailing by two. I thought they were attacking the shooters and making a big effort to protect the rim in that one. Yeah, the defensive energy was just on another level. Trying to contest every single shot. San Antonio with the ball. After the basket by Utah. Paxson passes to Brooks. Making a change here. First team foul. Now into the lineup for the Jazz. Porter. Bob Henson. Tucker the pass to Workman. For three, Paxson. The Spurs rebound. Back to Tucker. Brooks right side. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Paxson passes to Edmondson. Clock is at three. A nice shot by Tucker. And both of these teams right now, lights out shooting to start this. The offense has been fun to watch, but I'm curious as to which team is going to step it up on defense first. Here's Sumner. No points in the game yet for him. Had a hand on it. And a fast break now for the Spurs. Edmondson passes to Paxson. Here's Edmondson. Here's the screen. Out to the right wing. No one near him. No good from Paxson. You don't get a lot of those chances. He's going to want that shot back. San Antonio foul. John Paxson. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. Hey, we know every basket's a big one in a tight game, and he is not about to give up an easy look. One twenty-four left to play in the first quarter. Hanson the pass to Sumner. Outside Porter. Shot clock at five. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. No good on the three. For San Antonio, they've gone 8 of 14 from the field in the first quarter. Edmondson passes to Tucker. Here's Edmondson, guarded by Porter. Back to Paxson. 
stripped it away. And now Utah, fast break. Hands in the pass to Sumner. Kicks to Kelly. Here's Bailey. Brooks covering. Just five to shoot. Here's Sumner. The Jazz with another miss. Here's San Antonio now. Trailing by two. Hexen can't tie it up as that one misses. Here's Sumner. Crew on the 14-footer. And the Jazz lead by four. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Jazz lead by four. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. again for tuning in if you're just joining us we played through one quarter of action so far and guys what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Jazz Jazz leading by four here's he he's been quiet so far still no points in the game Griffith can't get it to go Outside, Gervin. Stolen away. Here's Eves. Right wing. Drew passes to Dantley. And it's blocked. Here's Moore. Oh, that's blocked. We're about a minute into the second quarter of play. Here's E. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Two on the clock. Drew misses. The defense willing to concede the mid-range as the lesser of evils. It paid off there. More outside. Let's it go. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Moore's got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Spurs. Eves passes to Griffith. Offensive rebound. Eaton. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. Pass to Gervin. It's hauled in by Griffith. Jazz leading by four. The pass to Eves. The Jazz working the ball around now. The shot's good for Eaton. One of the game's better finishers, Dantley can also make plays for others. Spurs have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. And now the first timeout called here for the Spurs. Bailey is checked in for Utah. Thurl Bailey. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Gervin finds more. And here is Banks. Just his first attempt. San Antonio again missing. Eves passes to Dantley. Over more. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Dantley's got the lead up to eight now for Utah. A go-to shot for Dantley. His mid-range J is just money in the bank. That one good for two. gervin has got 14 points for the game. Going on the attack, working his way into a nice shot. Eves passes to Griffin. Out to the right wing. They set the screen. Drew gets the bucket. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Over to the left wing. Pass to Moore. Let's go. 
Rebounded by Bailey. Jazz leading by eight. Here's Dentley. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Perhaps the best part of Dentley's game, he forces contact. Gets loads of free throws. Utah shooting their first free throw tonight. And Mike, some dominant teams around the NBA. Any picks on who will lift the trophy coming up at the end of the season? You have to like the chances for Bird or Magic. The East is as strong as ever. The West has talent, but the East is probably the better conference. And you can't take your eyes off Larry Bird and Magic Johnson, can you? They just make so much happen. And you know there's an inevitable collision between the two. Since they've come out of college, they've taken the NBA and taken it to new levels. We're still watching it. Absolutely. Boy, are they locked in on offense, knocking down every shot right now. And the other team has to step it up on defense. No excuse letting them torture you like this. Here's Roberts. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. It's deflected. Griffith passes to Eves. Here's Drew. Again, the Jazz score. And, you know, they aren't showing any signs of easing up. Their offense looks superb right now. They can't get careless with the league. And so far, this hasn't been the case. Now here's Gervin. He's got 14. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. What a night for the Iceman, George Gervin. One of the best scoring players I have ever seen. Here's Dantley. He's coming off a 40-point game against Denver. And he can't let that miss either. He's just got to come right back and take it again when left wide open. Moore passes to Gilmore. He kicks to Gervin. Just five on the clock. Latre. Back to Moore. Here's Gilmore. He had 10 points in the win again. He really controlled the boards. He just seemed to be in the right position every time the ball came off the rim. Smooth reverse. He knew just what he was doing there. And the Jazz call time here. And we've got a chance now to get caught up on how the standings are looking in the West as we make the push through midseason. Take a look at the Jazz. Here in the middle of the regular season, they've been able to get the fourth best record in the conference. And of course, San Antonio, three and a half back. Jazz leading by nine, and it's time for an injury report. Hey guys, the head athletic trainer for the Jazz let me know the status. He confirms that it is a sprained ankle. And as you'd expect, it's very swollen and it's causing him a lot of discomfort. You don't want to hear this news as most teams are starting to hit their stride. So they're going to miss him while he's recovering from this injury. Kevin? Thanks as always, David. Appreciate the report. Never good, Clark, to see an injury like that take place. It is an unfortunate part of the game, partner. Hope he recovers soon. You said it, partner. We, as well as these fans, hope to see him back on the court very soon. No good on the second free throw. The Jazz have gone 8 of 13 in the second quarter, well above the 50% mark from the field. Passes it to Kelly. Here's Bailey. Buries it down low. Bailey's got the lead up to 13 now for the Jams. Spurs shooting at 46%, making some buckets. Paxson passes to Workman. There's a good screen. From 12 feet out, Edmondson no good. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. Here's Sumner, guarded by Paxson. Sumner passes to Hanson. Five on the clock. Near the three-point line, it's Porter. Again, the Jazz score. Offensively, they've clearly and far and away been the more efficient team. Yeah, the offense is running smoothly, and it's only the first half, but they've looked more prepared for this matchup. Here's Workman to the paint. Here's Brooks on the money from 12 feet away. The defense getting hung up on the pick there. They've got to get over it. And every time they don't, they're just allowing the shooter to find the jumper. Bailey, and he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. 
Fundamentally sound right there. Threw it down with two hands. Yep, sweet dunk for him. Beyond the aesthetics, a big two-point team. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the head. Here's Sumner, started by Tucker. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Use the pick, get space. Easy, smart basket. For Utah, they have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. 122 left in the first half. Maxson kicks to Brooks. Workman passes to Edmondson. They set the pick from 18 feet away, and it's San Antonio with another. Hard to pass up a mid-range shot like that when you find yourself with that much space. Here's Sumner. He has five. Here's Hansen. Offensive rebound. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Eaton able to go straight through that interior defense to get the score, holding nothing back. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Here is Paxson. He's still scoreless so far in this one. To the wing right side. Tucker the pass to Paxson. Pass to Brooks. And Tucker has it in the corner. Five to shoot. Here's Workman trying to get open his Brooks. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And it's Utah's ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Here's Sumner. He averages a bit over six points a game. Let's it go with a three. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the Utah Jam out in front by 17 points at the end of the quarter. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. And you know, George Gervin has been really making it happen. Tell you what, he was knocking down some nice shots in that first half. Very productive. And his team helped create those opportunities to score, setting him up to knock them down. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Here's Drew, and there's the drive. That's tipped. They retain possession. Count that one. Spurs trail by 19. Moore inside. The dish to Gervin. And it's good. That bucket takes him to 9 for 14. Boy, he's playing out of his head. Nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now. And so far, no go. Here's Eves. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Banks. Eaton grabs the miss. Eaton's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. And the pass to Eves. High post try, and he nails the jumper. Eves has got his first two points of the night. And uh, San Antonio shooting straight 49% from the field. Here's Moore. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal foul. And he's got his first free throw of the game. At the line for your Spurs, Johnny Moore. That's good from Moore. And so Moore nails both of them. Right around a minute and a half played here in the third quarter. Eves passes to Dantley. Moore with the steal. Now Gervin pushing it up and no one back to stop him. Even some hard physical D 
can't trip up Gervin, ever cool, he gets his shot to fall just like he wants it to. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. In their last game, he actually made these shots look routine. Yeah, he was really making it hurt every time he got sent to the line in that one. Here's Drew. He's got eight. High post shot. Banks with a rebound. And people will say he shouldn't take that mid-range look. But he had the space and is capable of making it. And an easy call for the officials there. Yeah, don't argue that whistle. Pretty obvious. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. He's off on the first. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Jazz leading by 14. Here's Eves. Sinks that one from the post. Eves has got four this quarter. Great recognition to read the D and go with the floater. Beautiful touch. And another great look at the 2K drive. Taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the D and made them pay. And now the first time out called here for the Spurs. to Roberts just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now down to five on the shot clock Gervin for three the shot misses and Utah the other way now earlier in the game they had a 19 point lead following this one they get to host the Rockets and that's the first game in a string of three straight at home here's Drew he's got eight Here's Dentley. Misses the layup. He had him with that bump fake. Spurs trail by 16. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. Bailey was checked in for Drew. Thorough Bailey. Jazz have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Passes to Dentley. Here's E. Pass to Eaton. And Mike, this is our fourth year with the three-point shooting line. How do you feel about the change now that it seems like it's not going away? It's here to stay. Definitely makes for some interesting finishes and tactics. Teams haven't really used it that much. Seems more like a novelty at the moment. How do you think these coaches, Mike, are coaching their teams with this three-point line in play? I'm not sure every coach has bought into it, but there certainly are those who really believe in it, and you're going to start to see them up the numbers every game. John Paxson, he's checked in for Gervin. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Here's Moore. Gets the 14-footer to fall. Moore's got four points now in the quarter. When he has the ball in his hands, Paxson does a good job scanning the floor, finding these opportunities to set up shooters. Eves passes to Eaton. And it's out of bounds. Utah able to retain possession here. Here's Bailey. Another miss by Utah. Tough to miss such high percentage looks. Deflating. Now the pass to Gilmore. That one falls, coming off of Paxson's feed. Paxson's got his third assist on the night. Jazz leading by 12. Pass to Dantley. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Don't be surprised to see Dantley leading the league in scoring. Moore outside, passes it to Gilmore. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. The Jazz have gone to somewhat so far. Four of ten on their shots in the second half so far. Here's Eves. 
pass to Eaton. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. When Eaton is aggressively looking to score, he's hard to challenge without fouling. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for Utah. And the first one drops. Brooks checked in for the Spurs. And a switch here also for Utah. Sumner's checked in. He hits one and misses one each at the line. And you know, Eaton at seven foot four, this guy typically overpowers defenses with his size. He's an excellent shot blocker and also rebounds pretty well. Here's Edmondson. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. It's not easy to work the ball inside in this league, but they've done it all night. Here's Sumner after the basket by San Antonio. And there's the pass to Bailey. Let's it go from 11. A shot by Antley, no good. Spurs trail by 15. To the inside, Brooks the pass to Baxter. Rebounded by Bailey. Bailey's got four rebounds now tonight. Down low, Dantley, terrific assist, a nice finish, solid play all around. You look at Dantley, he's six foot five, you expect him to be a jump shooter, but Adrian rather take it down low. Paxson passes to Edmondson. Just five on the clock. Banked in off the glass. Edmondson's got four points in the quarter. The coaches love seeing shots from there at the rim. Griffith passes to Sumner. Here's Griffith. They grab their own miss. Count it. Eaton's got 14 points for the game. Found the crease, took advantage, and got it in close. An edge to this lead. They're having their way. Paxson passes to Edmondson. They set the pick. Pulls up. High post. Rebound, Utah. Eaton's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And you know, Griffith is a lights-out scorer now. I mean, a guy who can take over games. Love his confidence. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And the Spurs making a change here. Tucker's checked in. Both good from the line that time. And so it's San Antonio with it. 19-point game. Coach, a tough stretch for this offense. I'd say they need to get back to what they do best right now. That's a question mark. A big question mark. So it's the Jazz now. After the basket by San Antonio. Griffith passes to Bailey. Nice ball movement by Utah. Six on the shot clock. Ripped away. In transition, here comes San Antonio. Creating offense through working hard on defense. Boy, I love seeing that. I know you do. Going all the way with the two. Yeah, you see the tenacity from them on both ends. Impressive sequence. Here's Kelly, and he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. If you let him get that deep on you, he's going to score every time. At that point, you're already doomed. Bump, push, do whatever it takes to move him out. Now, here's Tucker. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Count the basket. A floor spacer who is always ready to fire. Paxson is terrific on catch and shoot jumpers. Outside Porter. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Smart play to save the easy shot. He'll make them earn it at the line. I like the strategy. Make them shoot for it. For Utah, they have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. And he makes the first. And Porter drops them both. Spurs trail by 17. Paxson outside. Pass to Gerber. Fires from 18. 
That one falls, coming off of Paxson's feed. Paxson's got four assists in the game. Here's Drew. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip, five for 10. Attacking in the lane. Drew has the smarts and he makes quick moves. Passes it to Kirby. Back to Paxson. Here's Edmondson. Gervin passes to Edmondson. Five on the clock. And the Spurs scoring again. You know, these are the shots you want Paxson to take. His jumper is often cash money, too. Pass to Porter. There's a screen to the middle. It's tipped. Gervin outside. Paxson passes to Workman. An effective point. Paxson moving the ball with conviction. And so it's Utah. 13 points up at the end of the period. They've got a big advantage in the turnover stance because of their intense defense. Back right after this. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. So we get going in quarter number four. Moore passes to Gilmore. From 10 feet out, and it's San Antonio with another. At 7 foot 2, Gilmore can really own the interior and play above the defenders. Ball's knocked loose. Moore with the steal. And the lead is down inside single digits. They had to clear a path to the rim and finish the break nicely. And a great burst to get out ahead of the pack. Here's Drew. That's tipped. Paxson with the steal. Here's Gervin. And it's Gervin finishing it off. Got his hands in the passing lane that time. Paxson creating scoring opportunities many different ways. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute play. Here's Dantley. Pocket six. Fires. High post. Good. Nothing but net. Dantley's got 19 points. As they keep expanding this lead, keep feeding him the ball. He's having a great shooting night, so yeah, I'd say getting him the rock is a great game. Gets it to go from beyond the up. Nice touch from three-point land. Gervin on the sand when to pull the trigger. Here's Eve. The pass to Dantley. Over Gervin. And again, it's Utah. And when he's getting his on offense, it usually results in a lead like this. Moore up top. Pass to Gilmore. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. Jazz leading by eight. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Gervin with the steal. Boy, Paxson absorbing the contact but still getting the shot off. That's just good, tough basketball there. Shooting for San Antonio. John Paxson. Two shots. That free throw, good from Paxson. Both free throws, good from Paxson. A solid role player for this team. Paxson's job is to take high percentage shots and move the rock. Eves passes to Eaton. Here's Dentley. San Antonio with the rebound. Here's Gervin. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Tough and lanky to deal with. Gervin draws contact easily. 
George Gervin taking two shots. First one falls for him. Roberts has checked in for John Paxson. And both free throws good for Gervin. Free throw shooting is a skill, and this guy absolutely has it. We're in the final quarter of play here, three minutes in. Here's Dantley. Banks with the block. Passes to Gervin. Back to Banks. And the shot is good. Banks has got his first bucket of the night. What a job they've done to narrow the gap with this big run. And it almost happened too late. Their offense didn't come alive until they were nearly out of it, but it's certainly alive now. Here's Griffin. Five to shoot. Here's Dantley. Pass to Eves. Here's Dantley. Goes back up. Over to the wing. Here's Eves. There's the pass to Eaton. Here's Griffith. The Jazz with another miss. Here are the Spurs with the ball. They're on a 15-4 run. Moore finds Roberts. Outside Banks. Here's Gervin. Again, the Spurs good for two. Well, give this squad credit. They never gave up. That's about heart and persistence. Yeah, it got ugly there for a stretch. Nothing was working. But now they've come back and have a chance to seal the deal. Time called here. The Jazz decide to talk it over. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. What's the latest, David? Well, during that timeout, the coach of the Jazz talked to his team. We told him, hey, this game is there for you, but we got to go get it. 50-50 balls getting to the basket. We have to give it all right now, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. Here's Dantley. Releases, finds himself wide open and drills it. Dantley's got 23. Production is something Dantley does exceptionally well. Trust him to find shots. Moore dishes to Banks. Moore outside, back to Banks. Fires top of the key. Eves pulls it in. Utah leading. Pass to Griffin. Here's Dantley. Not a piece of it. And the Spurs with possession. They're on a 17-6 run. And more it's to Gervin. Here's Gilmore. Good, and the assist goes to Gervin. Gilmore's got the game tied up here for the Spurs. Impressive grit from this team. Fighting their way back into it. Finally caught their rhythm. Anyone's game now. And the Jazz call time here. Jazz have gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Passes it to Griffin. Here's Eaton to the left side wing. Here's Griffith. Takes the three. They get it back. Eves passes to Bailey. Here's Griffith. Yet another make to his scoring count. His fifth basket of the game. Now shooting 5 of 11. In a big moment, you go to your star. And that's what they did. And he delivers. As a team, they have a lot of confidence in him taking those high-pressure shots. And he embraces the challenge. The 19-foot shot rebounded by Bailey. Bailey's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Griffith. To Dantley. Here's Eves. The pass to Eaton. 
Knocks it loose. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. First team foul. Shooting for Utah. Bar Eaton. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And the Jazz call time here. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Spurs trail by four. Moore outside. Dishes it to Gervin. And right through it goes. Gervin's got 18 points now here in the second half. He's such a clutch shooter. He just lives for the big shot. Utah calls timeout. For Utah, they've gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Eves passes to Baylor. Here's Dantley. Over Banks. Shots good by Dantley. Dantley's got 25 points in the game. It's simple. When the game's in the balance, you got to go to your best score. And Dantley is one of the best in the game at getting his shot. And Durbin kicks to Moore. And it's San Antonio with another been a shootout all night. Why let up now? I say keep it going. Why indeed. Keep going to the well and get buckets. Here's Dantley. That one drops for him. Dantley's got 10 points now just in this quarter. Good solid execution inside. That's exactly the look you want. Left side, Gervin. Baseline jumper. Another one falls for San Antonio. That's who I'd give the ball to. George Gervin is someone you trust. Here's he. Here's Dantley to the left wing. Just four to shoot. Here's Griffith. And they get it back. And out of bounds as the Spurs gain possession. Oh, that certainly could be costly. The close ones, those kinds of mistakes can really give the other team momentum. The Jazz making a switch here. Drew's checked in. And so it's Gervin with it. He brings it up for the Spurs. Trailing by two. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. They're behind by two. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. with the ball. Just five to shoot. Gervin finds more. Got it! A huge shot to tie it up. Talking about much in the clutch. Great to see him come through right there. Big time shot for sure. It's got to help his confidence as well as his team. Here's he. Nasty Griffin shoots the three. Carries it from outside. They're in full control now. Just have to play smart, sound defense. No quick baskets. No open three. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. They're trailing by three. 20 seconds left in the game. Guys, what do you think? I think if they leave the three-point shot open, you take it. But it may be safer and wiser to get a quick two and then foul. Well put. But they shouldn't force something up here. You have to be smart. Gervin in the post. Moore outside with some arc. Good! And that shot brings them to within just one. Boy, since the break, they've really increased the energy level. I love how this team is playing. They get the effort plays. And the Jazz call time here. They're in front by one. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. He's 
Six seconds left to play here in the fourth. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. And an intentional foul right there. Hey, that's the right play. It's the smart play. you got to stop the clock. Hoping for a missed free throw or two. Every point is crucial here. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. Second one is good. He bolted the line. It's a three-point game. That last free throw was critical. Their only choice now is to go for the three to tie. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. They're trailing by three. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? I think they should have prepared for this scenario. Little time, need a three. Of course, the defense will be defending the line, but nobody said it was going to be easy. You got to try to find a way. And so it's Utah who's scraped by with a win. Oh, you can feel the heartbreak in this building. These fans were ready to celebrate a win. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Kevin, it stings more, I think, when you lose a hard-fought game like this, especially on your home court. And that about wraps it up for our terrific reporter, David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello. I'm Kevin Hunt saying thank you for tuning in tonight. So long.